Hi everyone, welcome to GoFries. And in this video, we have a look at Astrox TRX40 Tai Chi. Without further ado, let's see what this board that retails at US 500 has to offer. From the upper area, you'll see that it's packed with heat sinks, with the one at the topmost area being additionally cooled by two fan units. Throughout my usage with the Threadripper 3960X, the heat sink doesn't feel warm at all. Some RAM designs are huge, so it comes into conflict with the heat sink. I think it would have been better if it was designed to allow some space between the RAM and the heat sink. I did chip a bit of the paint of my RAM kit. Unlike the X570 Tai Chi, where the cooling fan on the bottom heat sink sits right under the graphics card and has an enclosure, the one on the TRX40 has the fans and the golden cogwheel switch location and without any enclosure. The TRX40 Tai Chi has only three PCIe 16 slots, which is very unlike the X399 Tai Chi. If you are looking for four slots, then there's the TRX40 Creator, but that model has only eight phase power design. Speaking of power design, the Astrock TRX40 Tai Chi features a 16 phase VRM in a 6x2 and 2x2 configuration. The Interseal ISL69247 PWM uses the Interseal ISL6617 A doublers that are located at the back of the board to achieve 16 phase power design. Of the VRM, 12 phases are for the V core and 4 are for the SOC. As for the I.O. offering at the rear, this is what it looks like and as you can see, there's two gigabit LAN port. The red one is the Dragon LAN with 25 times the bandwidth. As for the UEFI interface, the Astrock TRX40 comes with the usual interface design. If you are familiar with their boards, you'll be up and running in no time. Lastly, it's worth noting that Astrock did a splendid job by including the Hyper Quad M.2 card. Unlike the Ultra Quad model, the Hyper model has a different finish and it supports PCIe Gen 4 and VMe M.2. The Hyper Quad alone is valued at about US 100. All right, so that's it for this video at USD 500, and it comes with this Hyper Quad M.2 card that retails at US 100. I think it is um, great value for money, and I'm giving it a gold badge. All right, so that's it for this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.